All right, Hades Omega here. So uh, I'm taking the Victory Impulse out for its maiden voyage. This is my first time riding it. So basically, uh, I have to. The gearbox needs to be broken in on this. So uh, so I have to ride it. Um, I have to ride it uh, under 3,500 RPM for like 600 miles or something. And I forgot my backpack. So. All right, so I went and got my backpack. So uh, yeah, so, as you've uh, realized, uh, there's no kind of carrying. There's no, um, just not. There's no cargo or luggage on this bike whatsoever. I don't even think there's tie downs on it. <laughs> there's no hooks or anything to tie down anything. So they didn't. Uh, they didn't really intend for you to ride with like luggage on this thing. So. I'll be working out that will work on that later though so so I got my backpack so it's on uh, you know what I haven't fixed this mirror yet shit let me go fix this first okay so I had a quick issue with the mirror there uh, when I got this the mirror was loose so let's make sure my mirrors work so this is the first time I'm riding this, so uh, yeah, I have to make sure it's everything's ready to go. So it takes a little a couple seconds to boot up. Press the button, stand down, and are ready to go. All right, so. As you've guessed, uh, this does not need a. Uh, you don't need to use the clutch on this guy. And it's super quiet. It's, it does have a, a lot of whine to it, and it has a, kind of a lot of backlash when when you get onto the throttle. You can kind of feel that chain kind of jump a little bit. I guess you just, I, I. Yeah. You can get used to it though, you just have to be careful with your wrist, that's all it is. And there's a lot of, there's a good regen off of throttle. I'm just going to keep it in second here. Alright, keep it in third. And so I'm just going to do, so what the plan is, I, I got to get a motorcycle cover for this. So unfortunately my, uh, my uh, my uh, impulse is going to be living outside like all my other bikes. You can notice you feel like if you if you start off in a higher gear, you can feel like it's got a little less uh, torque. Uh, so when I when I read the manual, when I read the manual, the first uh, it says uh, pretty much the only thing you use the clutch for is to shift. You don't you don't feather the clutch out when you take off. You don't, uh, you don't downshift. Uh, you don't have to rev match. You know, none of that uh, double clutching, which, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. I, I do a lot of double clutching when I ride. So, uh, so there it is. It's on. Uh, when it's normally running, uh, it's already gotten down 99%. <laughs> Actually, let me take a look at my range. My range was 94, so it looks like I've gone a mile or something. And... Kind of when while you, um, when it's on, you can kind of feel the the handlebars vibrate a little bit. It's like kind of weird. All right, here we go. This is my first trip on the freeway. I hope this bike is freeway ready. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to go over 3,500. I forgot. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know what speed. I, we'll see what speeds we can hit at 3,500, man. I don't know. Oh, there we go. I, I tried to pull the clutch in to, to stop right there, uh, and I didn't have to. So, <laughs> so it looks like there's quite a bit of traffic. I'm gonna have to split lanes for a little bit. Um, but yeah. So, so the plan here is I need to get a motorcycle cover for this um, because all my motorcycles live outside. So. Uh, um, so yeah, I gotta get a motorcycle cover, and I got no cargo on the bike, nothing to hold anything. I have a tank bag, I don't know if it'll work on this, so I'll try it later. Um, yeah, so, so this is, uh, the bike's maiden voyage, my first ride, so uh, I'm gonna go, uh, yeah, so we're riding, 
I am riding to Cycle Gear uh, to go get a cover for, for this bike because unfortunately it has to live outside. Um, I'll keep the dust and water off of it if it rains. Uh, but I will be keeping it on a new top, bike, so. taking it out for its maiden voyage. Only got 11 miles. Um, so when it's normally on, there's a headlight light and then there's a, a blinking light that says on in yellow. And then there's a kind of like a headlight flashing light here. Um, yeah, and then that's what it, that's how you can tell it's on. And of course the gear. So here's a, uh, you know, all the all the benefits of having an EV, uh, uh, like you know, you get the stickers to go on the the HOV lane, and uh, what uh, what's another benefit of having an EV? Um, I think that's it. Uh, and then the electric car parking and the charging. I mean, you don't really get that with the motorcycle, unfortunately. Um, because the mo cause motorcycles in California can split, um, they can split lanes and they can ride in the carpool lane. Which is about what I'm going to do right now. Oh man, well anyway. So my maiden voyage and I'm uh, stuck here in the wall of traffic here. <laughs> What can I say, man? Well, I tell you this, man. It's, uh... I just barely giving it any juice, man. And it's rolling along. I don't have to worry about feathering the clutch at all. It's, this is a good bike for riding in traffic, you know? Now, if I could just get into that carpool lane, we can get underway. There's a lot of riders out right now, I can tell. I just saw, like, a bunch of them just roll right by. I know, I, I have to get, um, I'm always feeling, feel like I want to, uh, downshift all the time. But, uh, it, I don't have to. Alright, here we go. Carpool lane. So let's see what 3500 RPM, what the max speed at 3500 RPM, the break-in uh, RPMs are. So right now in fifth gear, I'm going 41 miles an hour. Yeah, I cannot see how these mirrors really well. These mirrors suck. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. There we are, man. We're going like 40 miles an hour on the freeway. Fortunately, the traffic is horrendous. I think we're going to have to split some lanes here. Now, what I'm now what I, the thing I'm very afraid of is like people cannot hear me come by. <laughs> it doesn't make the noise of a, for a gasoline motorcycle, so I'm I'm totally I'm totally scared. I'm totally scared to get hit by a car, you know, that's like changing lanes real quick. Like changing lanes without fucking a uh, freaking signal. Okay. But it's, I guess it's in your best interest to keep the revs up. Um, the the economy zone, the happy zone for this uh, motorcycle is 4,500 to, uh, to 6,500. There we go, we're moving. The suspension is pretty stiff on this guy. So we can do 55 in fifth gear. At 3,500 RPM. Throw it in the six. Some regen there. So 
you can see here, there are some uh, green lights, green LEDs on it. And the more green LEDs you have, the more uh, economical you're riding. So at 3,500 RPM, I, the best I can muster out of this thing is 55. It's like the sixth gear doesn't do anything. Uh, anyway, I'm not on the freeway long enough to actually test it because I, I pretty much get on the freeway and got off the freeway. <laughs> so, but it's a good bet that like uh, six gear will get you uh, at 3,500 RPM around 60 miles an hour. So I guess it's okay. You're gonna have to ride in the slow lane. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna hang out here with the traffic. I'm not gonna split lanes. It's very weird. But yeah, the shifting doesn't, uh, shifting at all, downshifting, you don't feel it at all. It's like, no, uh, it doesn't do like the, you know, the big, it doesn't buck around like a normal bike. But we have to get it up in the higher RPMs first. Yeah, there is a little bit of backlash, a little bit. But yeah, it's not like a, it's not like a normal motorcycle. It makes a big clunking noise when you um, when you downshift. Hey, it's it said don't rev match, so I'm not rev matching. It makes a big clunk noise when you get on it. It's not uber smooth. Yeah, see that? All right, so just that little jaunt there. Uh, that was about mm, almost three miles. Uh, it went down like a couple percent, like two percent. This is not bad. Um, but yeah, I, I intend to do some uh, some range testing on this guy in the future. Well, today, just a quick ride. Uh, I'm going to do, I did that quick freeway ride, and then I'm just going to just take the city back. Take city streets back. So I'm di I mean, that's where this bike excels the most, is on the city streets. And like, eh. And like, uh, I tell you now, from the, like the riding position, it's like a, it's a lot like a, like a naked sport bike. Uh, the naked, naked sport bike's got those, uh, it's kind of good, it's that Superman feeling. You kind of don't see what's beneath you, because there's not much in front of the bike. Of course, that uh, gauge cluster is pretty big. Oh, I see, I tried to, I was going to reach for the clutch to take off, and um, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> So yeah, these are brand new tires too, so I gotta scrub them in too, so I shouldn't get all crazy on them. Wow, man, there's a lot of regen when you... So there's a kind of like a point where like it'll coast, and then there's a point where like it'll, uh, it'll start regening. And the regen is, is very noticeable. It's very easy to split lanes on this guy. Very cool. have to get on the brakes hard. You want to stop. So, I mean, if you really want to ride this thing, like, super economical, you really have to, um, it's kind of like driving a Prius. Like, you have to use the regenerative braking, you know. Hear that? And it kind of makes a different sound when it regens. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of bikes here. Where am I going to park mine? So I'll have to park it on the other side here. Okay. And it does uh it does roll back like a normal motorcycle does. It is in gear right now and I'm able to roll it back. It's interesting. Alright, so here we are. We made it to cycle gear. We made the cycle gear with uh 96% on the battery.